Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about general bonsai care. And before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now get into the topic of the day. We need to know that bonsai trees need care similar to any other plant below it's a basic outline of care for a bonsai tree. The first is lighting. So many people don't realize that most bonsai should be kept outdoors year-round. The few exceptions are non-traditional tropical plants, which need to be kept inside if you're not in a tropical environment. Uh, outdoor bonsai should be positioned where they get six or more hours of day of light each day. Of course, this varies tree from tree, so make sure you do a little bit more research. Indoor bonsai should receive two to four hours of natural or artificial sunlight. For inside bonsai, full spectrum fluorescence can provide the necessary light levels the tree needs to be placed close to light. Uh, seconds watering. More trees die from a lack of water or low humidity than anything. The soil used to raise bonsai is normally a porous soil that drains very well. The type of soil as well as the shape and design of the pot will affect quickly uh, how quickly the soil dries out. Different tree types will require different amounts of water to thrive. You'll need to do your research on specific species of trees for a general guideline, and then closely monitor how the tree grows to determine if it is to be watered correctly. If you take your pot and place it on top of some rocks in a tray full of water, this will help increase the humidity around the tree and will aid in its growth. Along with uh, normal watering about once a week, you should fully submerge the bonsai tree pot until no more bubbles can expand escape from the pot or the soil. But you also need to be careful not to drown your roots. The third is pruning. Pruning serves dual purposes in the care of bonsai. Pruning removes branches that clutter and hamper the aesthetic design of the tree. Pruning is also used to direct and control the growth of the tree. You'll also have, uh, you will also have fine pruning such as pinching and leaf pruning to help encourage branching. Always remember when you are pruning your bonsai that you can always remove something later, but it's very difficult to put it back after you've cut it. So if you're in doubt, leave it. You should start with the, with light pruning, then give it two or three weeks, and wait for it to bounce back to decide if you need to do more pruning. You need to pay special attention to developing the trunk. Anywhere on the trunk that a branch is allowed to grow, it will thicken. When pruning, you need to keep the top and bottom roots balanced for optimal results. The fourth is fertilizing. Your average bonsai will need to be fertilized once or twice a month. You should only be fertilizing during the normal growing season. Use a water-soluble fertilizer and apply it when the soil is already wet. Fifth is soil. Proper soil choice is critical to your op to uh, you know just optimal bonsai care. The soil affects the roots, the feeding, and the watering of your tree. The size and shape of the pot affects both the appearance as well as the growth and health of the bonsai. As a rule of thumb, be about three-fourths as wide as a tree is tall and about as half as deep. The height of the pot should be roughly the same as the diameter of the trunk. Bonsai soils are designed to optimize drainage. They're usually a mix of coarse sand or gravel with peat or bark added for an organic element. Different trees will need various ratios of grit to humus. Usually, deciduous trees need about 70% humus and 30% grit, while evergreens will thrive with 30% humus and 70% grit. And the last one's repotting. Repotting is a critical element of bonsai care. It is, cri it is crucial to help keep the roots and the top of the tree in balance. Bonsai trees should be repotted every two or three years. When you repot the bonsai, you need to trim the roots. You will also want to remove about a third of the roots, period. You need to trim all the way around in the ball, uh, or all the way around the ball to keep it in balance. So that's all for today. And sorry about the dogs barking. You can't really help it when an ambulance passes by. It's kind of irritating. But I'll be making more videos about bonsai later on. I mean, literally dozens of videos. And check the link above. You might be interested in my ebook. So I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully, there won't be dogs barking because of an ambulance.